word. So he's telling us the king is looking for somebody to take the fullness of the word of God. He's looking for somebody. And Luther's age didn't do it. And Wesley's age didn't do it. Even the Pentecostals organized themselves and they refused to do it. Oh, but let me tell you, there he is again in the land today. Hallelujah. There's another people in the land today who under their messenger is going to be a final voice to a final age. They will not refuse the word. They will not reject the promise. They will not reject this message, but they'll come out and they'll receive it wholeheartedly. In the 10th month of the seventh year, 10 and 7. She didn't go in under 10. Listen, she went in under 10, 7. On the 10th day of the 7th month. And the last time, all of this is happening under 10, 7. The bride is being dressed under 10, 7. The bride is making herself ready under 10, 7. Under 10, 7, she's found grace. Under 10, 7, she's found mercy. Under 10, 7, she's got the blessing. Where'd it come from? Under 10, 7. In the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound the mystery of Esther. But then this woman dressed in the king's desire. When she comes in, the king's not looking past her. He's not looking for another people. He's not looking for another church. He's not looking for another, preach with me somebody. He looks at her and the Bible said the king loved Esther above all the churches. A woman in the Bible represents the church. He loves her above every church, every denomination. Catholicism cannot receive it. Denominationalism can't receive it. But in the presence of the king, she found love and favor. Hallelujah. In this message, we found love and we found favor. You should never give up on your children. I don't care what they've done. I don't care where they're at. I don't care what bar stool they're on, how much they're hung up on drugs. Never, never, never give up on your rights as a mother, as a father, as a son of God. Claim your God-given rights. 63, the head come down. But if he's the head, tell me who the body is. And if you're the body, whose feet is he using? Whose feet is he using to put Haman under? He uses your feet. He uses my feet. Tell all enemies is put under his feet. So in the evening time, they open the book and they begin to read from the open book. Yeah. Hallelujah. And as they read from the book, what they do is they take chalk and they write the name Haman on the bottom of their shoes. And every time in the book of the scroll that Haman's name is mentioned, the people begin to celebrate and they begin to stomp their feet. They begin to stop there. They don't sit. They participate. They ain't there to spectate. But they stomp their feet every time the name of Haman is mentioned. They begin to stomp their feet. I say today, there ought to be a people under the open book that the scroll has come open. We can stomp our feet. But I don't care what the devil don't like. With all of my mind. Devil don't like this. It's just going on. Listen now. Haman don't like no shot. No 